So let's have a look at this problem. So the question states that a reinforced concrete column is rectangular in section and measures 0.4 meters by 0.6 meters. The column contains 40 steel rods, 10 millimeters in diameter. So we've been tasked to calculate the maximum load which can be carried or supported by the column given that the stress in the steel must not exceed 400 millipa uh, megapascals. We'll be giving some further information to support us in solving this problem. So we have to assume that E for steel measures at 200 GPA, so that's gigapascals, and the Young's models for concrete measures at 12 GPA. And we are expecting an answer of approximately 6.94 meganewtons. So here are the diagrams representing the problem we're trying to solve. So on the right, we have a diagram showing the reinforcements of steel in the concrete column. And on the left is more of a modeling diagram where we have the load limit or the weight limit which we're trying to predict and how that's in equilibrium with the reaction from the reinforcements and the concrete. So let's have a go working through this problem. So let's quickly summarize. So as stated, the weight limit acting on the concrete column or the reinforced composite column is equal to FC plus FCR where FC is the reaction from the concrete and FSR is the reaction the steel reinforcement that will cause the state of equilibrium with the weight limit. So since stress is equal to F divided by A or F times the inverse of A Making F the subject, then the force would be equal to sigma times A. So substitute equation 2B into equation 1. The weight, the limit, weight limit will be equal to sigma A C plus sigma A S R. So if we assume it, that measure of extension or deformation is the same in all the materials that constitute the concrete composite. Thus, the extension in the concrete composite is equal to the extension in the concrete, which is equal to the extension in the steel reinforcements. Then, that goes on to state that the strain in the concrete, epsilon c, is equal to the strain in the reinforcement, epsilon sr. So since epsilon, or strain, is equal to the ratio of the stress to the Young's modulus, then this can equate to sigma divided by E such with C is equal to the ratio of sigma to the Young's modulus of the steel reinforcement. And since we've been given the stress limit of the reinforcement to be at 400 MPa, then we can make the stress of the concrete to be the subject of the relationship to give sigma SR times the ratio of EC to ESR as shown in equation 4. So we've got two choices here. We can either solve for sigma C and substitute the worked out equation into equation 3 or we can substitute the relationship established in equation 4 into equation 3 and simplify and this will give us the weight limit will be equal to into bracket sigma sr times ac times the ratio of ec to esr plus into bracket the product of sigma a respect to sr So what we can do is, since we've got common terms, 
sigma sr, we can factorize sigma sr from the equation to yield this expression. So the weight limit is equal to sigma r into bracket the ratio of EC to ESR times AC plus ASR. So all that we have to do moving all forward is to calculate, is to calculate the sectional area of the steel rod and the area that the steel rods occupy in total respect to the reinforcement in the concrete. And we do likewise for the area, cross-sectional area for the concrete itself. So we know that to calculate the area of the steel rod and we'll be given the diameter, then that means that area is equal to pi over four times d squared. D is equal to 10 millimeters, and that will yield a cross-sectional area per rod at 78.54 approximately. So since the total number of reinforcements in this concrete composite is 40, the total area of the, con of the steel reinforcement will be equal to the number of reinforcements times the cross-section area for a steel rod. So 40 times 78.5398 will yield 3,141.592 millimeters squared. So to calculate the net area of the concrete, that will be equal to the difference of the area for the composite concrete minus the area of the total reinforcements within the concrete column. So the area of the concrete composite ACC is equal to 400 times 600 and that will yield 2.4 times 10 to the power of 5 millimeters squared. Thus, AC, which is basically the net area for concrete, will be equal to 2.4 times 10 to the power to the 5 minus 3,141.592 and that will yield a net area of 2.3686 times 10 to the power 5 millimeters squared. So we now calculated the area, the total area for the steel reinforcements in the concrete composite and we've calculated the net area of the concrete itself. So all that we have to do moving forward is to substitute all known values into the equation that relates to the weight limit for the concrete composite column. And by doing so, it will yield a result of approximately 6.94 mega newtons.